All right, do you want to know what the ultimate FX bundle of plugins is on the planet? Well, let's see if it is FX Collection 5 by Achuria. Welcome, my name is Emlyn. This is the Emlyn in the Mix show. Who am I? I am a seasoned music technology enthusiast, software and hardware. We check it out here on the show. All the latest, all the greatest. This one dropped, I think, about a week ago now by Achuria. It might have even been this week. Anyway, depending on when you watch this show, it could, of course, have been a thousand years ago if YouTube even exists, if the servers are still here and you're watching this video in a thousand years time, FX Collection 5, anyway, is here from Aturia. We're checking out, out on the show today. We're checking out what is new in this bundle. I'm not gonna be able to show you all of the effects that are included in this bundle because this bundle has grown. It is an absolute beast. It is a big boy now. But before we get into this product, I have to do a shout out to the sponsor today's sponsor is of course native instruments with their summer of sound deals now the summer of sound this is pretty much as good if not better than black friday cyber monday i'm getting so excited i'm hitting the microphone here these deals are ridiculous we've got 50 percent off now i know my screen is displaying australian dollars but if you have usd the the figures will look a little bit lower so don't worry about that uh but Seriously, if you want to get 50% off, click the link down below. It is a sponsor. There is an affiliate. There is a kickback for me. But of course, you're doing yourself a favor. So think about that. You're actually getting yourself the goods that you want at a better price and you're supporting the channel. It's a win-win for everybody. That is today's sponsor. Check it out. Native Instruments, Summer of Sound. That does include some of their plugin alliance group plugins as well, I believe, don't quote me on this, but Brainworks may be included in this. I do know Isotopes software is also part of this, uh, being that Native Instruments owns, or they are merged with Isotopes, so you can get some of their plugins right now. Anyway, check out the Summer of Sound. Click that link down below. You'll be supporting yourself and supporting the channel. All right, so let's get on with FX Collection 5. So it is a selection of 34, it's up to 34. I don't know why I'm doing two, but it's 34. I don't have 34 fingers, all right? Studio mixing tools and creative production effects from authentic analog emulations to innovative modern plugins engineered to help you discover your unique sound and make it impactful. And there's an intro price right now. It is $100 off, of course. It will retail for $499, but you can get it right now. Intro price, $399, which is actually really freaking good considering you get 34 effects plugins in this bundle right now. All right, if we scroll down, we'll lo look at what we're gonna look at in the show today. What is new in FX Collection 5? So you've got this Bus Exciter 104, which is an Exciter EQ, a lot of fun. I'm gonna just show you that. We'll just now, I forget to mention this all the time. I have a timeline down below if you just want to skip ahead to me actually playing with it live. We've also got this bus peak, which has a limiter and also a clipper on board, which is very cool. Sort of acts as a bit of a glue, glue compression style, but a little bit different. Anyway, nonetheless, it sounds really freaking amazing and very smooth. We'll be showing that on the show, of course, today. We got a bit of fun with a little bit of a ditty. And now these two creative production tools are included now in FX Collection 5. These have already been out before, but you've now got FX Motion, which is a software effect that combines musical movement and creative audio modules into a powerful effects plugin. And you've got EFX Refract, which, wow, I can't believe I haven't checked this out on the channel already, but this thing sounds absolutely phenomenal essentially from my understanding well actually if we read it back here it's a stereo multi-effects with versatility at its core combining unison based processing with a variety of secondary effects and modulation options so yeah from my understanding you're going through you're going through an initial effect and then you're going into another effect and that's essentially why it's why it's called refraction but uh they're they're what is new in this bundle i think we just jump over to my little ditty here that i've created in live it's literally just a little loop here now i do have the acid 5 loaded here and we've just got like a little tb303 emulation 
bass line going through a sequence here, which sounds like this. All right, you're gonna get sick of that little uh, sequence here on the show, no. But you're not, because I'm gonna make it interesting, because we're gonna add, we're going to add some fun, we're going to add the new plugins here. So, actually, I have a little beat as well, so if you wanna to listen to it with the beat. So very dry, very, there's not much going on in terms of processing, I literally got nothing going on. Um, we've got a Neftone 2 over here by D16 Group. But if we jump back over, let's chuck on the Bus Exciter first. So I can just show off that plugin there. So this is the Bus Exciter. And first off, I have to say, very intuitive. Like you might look at it and go, oh, that looks kind of overwhelming. But literally, look, we'll play it back straight away. We'll get a, a nice, decent effect. And we just jump through some presets and find something we like. Now, I should recommend if you're not already, make sure you put headphones on because this thing sounds absolutely freaking dope. Especially with this big bass here, we can, uh, we can put the drive up a bit. Make the deep end really dirty. And we can increase where the frequency of this big bass actually hits. So you can make it a bit more boomy if you like. Or just have it like 40 hertz and below and just have this really deep sort of prodigy booming bass. How good's that? That's just hitting 34 hertz and below. Bring it more boomy. Now, just remember, this is only on my Acid V uh, Acid line there. I can also increase, if you come over to this section here, you got the output equalizer where you could increase the low end. Or you could increase the high, make it, you know, more exciting. This is your Bus Exciter 104, of course. Sort of getting it to sit above, above my mix here. Now, some really cool little features on this plugin. You got your wet mix here, you got your level. You've also got a wet only here, so you could just have the effect playing. So you get an idea of what is actually getting processed. But if you turn wet only off, it's kind of good because you get like a parallel of your dry and your wet mix together. Now I'm pretty happy with this. This feels to me like it's sitting quite nicely. I like the exciting that it's done. I can bypass it exciting or the, what it's done to excite the sound, I guess you would say. Have a listen with me. So this is with it wet. That's bypassed. Bypass. So quite a massive difference when we bypass it. It really just sounds like it's sort of bubbling in the background, but as soon as we turn it back on, really standing out, really front and center in the mix, sounds freaking good. Now, if we wanted to just sort of mix it even further, give it a bit of compression, the bus peak is going to help with the limiter on board. And this plugin here, this is a new one as part of FX Collection 5, hence we're looking at it today. This one here, super intuitive, like, have a listen to this. Have a listen to the way it just controls the sound. Like, literally, I won't go through the presets on this. Just have a listen. Here, we'll get this sounding really nice. So we've got a live visual. And we can start putting a bit of threshold on the limiter. And you can actually see how it's affecting the sound. Now, you can obviously you can change the release. It's quite short here. So we could make it longer. So it sort of gives it a more traditional compressor sort of sound, or you can have it short like how we had it. 
and it's a bit more transient, right? And you can actually change the character here as well. Like more soft clip or a harder clip. And we do have a clipper on board, so let's turn that on. So you can also decide where, and it's awesome, the visual representation is really good. You could decide where the clipper threshold begins. And it's just incredible, like you really get a very clean sound. Like let me just show you, this is with it on. Okay, and then we bypass it. Just controls the sound. And that's what you want to just, uh, there, I'm doing it quite subtly, but you're just controlling the sound, getting rid of any sort of wild sort of dynamics that are just sort of like, you know, hopping around and you're just controlling the sound, giving it a, like a glue compressor, really. You've got input and output control. Um, you got your master here showing, showing you what your output is. And you can also change your master target here so you can see what it's going to be good for streaming, for example gives you an idea anyway really cool we haven't even touched the presets here but freaking hell i love this it's super intuitive and super simple to use sounds very smooth that is bus peak and we're using it on the acid v now where i'd really like to use another bus peak is on these drums okay because these drums they are just there's it's super dry i've got this randomization machine on i don't think it's doing anything but let's pop a bus peak here on our drums and let's play with some of the presets here Wow, so if you really want to get that insane sort of clip sound, you can get it as well. You can destroy the sound too if you want. Wow, I really like the bass on that. That's bypassed. Wow, it's totally changed the sound there. Broken speaker, I like that preset. Clean and pumping. Bit of a longer release on it, it's nice though. Put a little bit of uh, clipper on this. Get a dirty sound the more you clip it. Probably about here, it's actually, that's kind of a nice preset. So all we've done, we've sort of settled the transients down a little bit, glued it a bit more together. I haven't gone overboard with this, but you can see how it is super intuitive just going through some presets, choose something you like, and then messing around to get the sound you like. Really impressive stuff there. That is bus peak. Now, if we jump back over to Acid V and we look at some of the newer uh, plugins that are included in this FX collection. So now you've got EFX Motion. So now we can have some real fun. So I would actually have the AFX motion in the chain and have it before the bus peak. So I'm gonna have the bus peak sort of settling down the transients here. And I have done a video on AFX motions before, but you can check it out here. It's a lot of fun. It'll go through some sequence effects and we can just sort of cycle through them and have a bit of fun here. Let's have a look. I mean, that's the default. I already like that. Let's go through some more. I actually like this. This is kind of like a slow, slow motion effect. Very nice indeed.
Nice. Got a bit of a swoosh on it. So you can see how this, you can have absolute crazy fun with this. You can get some real glitchy sort of effects with it. I'm going to just pop it back on. I did enjoy just this really simple circulate uh, one here, which is really nice. Just a simple movement. Now, if you wanted to go to the next level, of course, we can show you the next plugin that is now included in this bundle, and it is EFX Refract, which I don't know why, for some reason, I have to run it in demo mode. Anyway, here it is, EFX Refract. This thing blew my mind. So I've actually turned off EFX Motions. You're gonna see why. Put it before our bus peak here, and let's just go through some of these amazing absolutely amazing effects here it's gonna pull why is my oh yeah that's all right here we go i love this we'll go through a few now you can find the preset you like and then you can actually change the secondary effect that this thing is getting dialed through totally change the sound This thing's ri just ridiculous. So I'll go through some more presets. Change the refraction amount. Make it tight like a laser. Increase the voices. Isn't this wild, this thing? How crazy is it? This thing is just nuts. Increase the drive. This actually works really well on this particular sound, like on the Acid V, you know, this TB303 emulation, acid sort of, you know, line we've got going here actually works really well, the distortion. Increase the voices, so more voices are hitting it, more refraction, increase the amounts, or the power of the refraction. Decrease the voices. I like it with lots of voices, maybe about six. Okay, cool. And let's put it all in the mix. Let's have an EFX motion. I'd actually put refraction before motion. Pop the motion back on so you can see what's going on here. And here we have it, guys. Like, this is just literally playing. You heard it here first. We've just literally, you heard how it sounded before. I'll do it wet dry, but you heard how it sounded very just simple sort of loop going on here. Now we've got something interesting. Here we go. Actually, I will just turn off the, I can't point it in the right direction. Yes, I can. The Spotify banner. Yes, we're on Spotify. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, if you wanna take Emlyn in the mix, on the go, you can do it. Just search Emlyn in the mix on Spotify and you can uh, take me on the go. All right, let's get that out of there. And let's have a listen to this. Here we go. Like it almost sounds like a completely different track. Now let me bypass everything and just take a listen to what we had originally. Right, it's a bit boring, right? It's really not much going on. Put all of our FX Collection 5 FX Collections on and check this out.
All right, guys, I think you get the idea. FX Collection 5, um, freaking believable. Actually, there's one last thing before we wrap up the show. There is one last thing we could actually do. We could put on the Nefton 2, we could put an EFX Motions and we could do some like really glitchy stuff to the drums. I mean, this is just an idea, a bit of fun we could have. Like you can go into your categories here and you got Beat Repeat. Divine Drums is the first one. I don't know. Have a listen to this. See what you think. I'd actually put it before the bus peak, of course, because we have a little bit of limiting going on. And there you can see what's going on. And let's just have a play. Actually, let's pop that over there. Let's just move this around a bit. There we go. There we go, baby. All right, let's have a listen to this. I mean, bro, is this the same track? No, I don't think so. Let's go through a few here. Um, let's have a listen. <laughs> see absolutely crazy you can have a lot of fun with this it's not something i would actually just pop on the mix like this i'd if i was doing maybe a live performance i would sort of employ this in and out uh triggered via midi or something could be really cool but there you go guys that is FX Collection 5 from Archeria. I'm going to have to wrap up the show there. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Do you like what Archeria is doing here with their FX Collection? They do seem to update it on a yearly basis, but they're not just, it's not just a cash grab. Like they are adding absolute value to this. And I believe there's probably an upgrade path. So definitely check that out if you want to upgrade today. If you want, if you like what you saw here today and what is included in that bundle, it may be worth checking out the upgrade path. I mean, I know even FX Collection 3 and 4 were also really dope and FX Collection 5 is absolutely no exception to being an awesome FX plugin bundle. I mean, we haven't even scratched the surface of what is included. I literally showed you four of the 34 mixing tools and it's all high quality, sounds super good. Shout outs and kudos to Achuria. Honestly, Achuria is just coming up in my world. Like they've got to be in my top five music technology software plugin developers at this point because this thing, this stuff just sounds too good to be true. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm rambling here. Don't forget, before you leave, if you like the video today, make sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. You want to see more cool music technology software and hardware like this one. If you want to just enjoy the show on the go, you can do that. We are, of course, on Spotify as well. And don't forget our sponsor today. It is, of course, Native Instruments with their Summer of Sound sale only going for another couple of weeks actually there's about three more weeks left but don't miss out on this the deals don't get any better than this except maybe black friday and Cyber monday which only lasts a weekend so hop on these deals this is a freaking good thing for yourself and it helps support this channel and this community keeps this community alive so if you love what you see here you want to get native instruments at half price that is the summer of sound and thank you so much for joining me guys oh if you're still watching there is a giveaway coming i know i probably said this last week and i haven't even launched it yet but we do we have the goods there's going to be five winners in this giveaway so this is a freaking big one i'll announce it really soon as soon as i can get the competition giveaway thing working that i'm trying to hook it up we'll have the giveaway going okay guys so stay tuned for that if you're still watching me here if you're still here my goodness, thank you so much for the support and the love. All right, guys, till then, peace out. Bye. Hey. 
Thanks for listening to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn in the Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.